thank you so much for inviting me here today ladies um, to the welfare clinic it's wonderful to see all you lovely young mums with your babies and your toddlers it's lovely the future of our country some of you may find it very hard to actually get your little ones to eat liver meals now if you just put a very small amount mince a little bit of liver and add it to normal meals then that may be a way to do it but there is another way that we can get that similar goodness into your youngsters without feeding them offal and that's of course by using our malt extract now this is a delicious cake recipe using malt extract and i'm going to first of all before i do any cake mixing i'm going to pop a good couple of tablespoons into a saucepan with some milk and we're going to heat that enough just to warm it through and get the mixtures to mix together now i'm sure you remember as you're so young ladies your own parents possibly giving you malty extract when you were young um, that delicious sticky syrupy goodness really does have a delicious taste but of course it is very hard to get off the spoon and we do end up with those delicious strings of it everywhere now i'm also going to add three tablespoons i'm going to just pop that knife back in the jar for now uh, three tablespoons of milk now malty extract, um, I don't know if you know, I was, couldn't find stout anywhere at Christmas for my Christmas pudding. So you can always use a, a tablespoon of malt extract because that will give it that lovely flavour that a bottle of stout would normally. The other ingredient I'm popping in is just a couple of drops of gravy browning. So just, just the minimal in there and i'm going to pop that onto uh, the uh, range just to warm it through to mix all those ingredients together now there's the malt the milk and the couple of drops of gravy browning nicely combined over a low heat and i'm going to pop that back there for a minute now we're going to make the base of the cake and i'm going to use eight ounces of self-raising flour don't worry ladies if you've only got plain in your pantry you can always add three teaspoons of baking powder to every eight ounces of plain flour and that will give you the equivalent of eight ounces in self-raising i'm also going to put uh, some gentle spice in this cake not too spicy children are not keen on very strongly tasting food and i'm going to pop in half a teaspoon of cinnamon a teaspoon of mixed spice pop in about half a teaspoon of salt put these in with the flour to give everything a good sifting there we have it now i'm also going to add some dripping three ounces pop that in and rub it in with your fingertips now i've spoken about liver and the goodness for that what about malt extract well not only does it sweeten food which means that we don't need quite so much sugar in our recipes but it's so good for the nervous system 
it improves your mood. You'll have much happier children serving um, a cake such as this or giving their malt extract in a spoonful a day. It also helps, which is very important for children too, their mental concentration. It's full of vitamins. It has vitamin A, a lot of B and D, and it also has potassium and calcium and iron, which of course are so good for the growth of bones. Again, especially important for our little ones. If you fancy taking some ladies when you're expecting, you'll notice the vast improvement also in your skin and your hair too. Now, that's the fat rubbed in like breadcrumbs to the flour. I'm now going to add a small amount of sugar, just two ounces, and I'm going to add some dried fruit. Now, I'm using sultanas today, but if you haven't got sultanas, prunes or dates will make just a good, as good a, a substitute and of course so much lower on points. So that's four ounces of sultanas. So eight ounces of flour, four ounces of fruit, two ounces of sugar, three ounces of dripping and those spices. Now I'm going to pop in one egg and of course I'll be using my dried egg for that but rather than using it as a powder reconstitute it into a liquid form. So of course that's one tablespoon of egg to two tablespoons of water. The best utensil for mixing your dried egg is that handle of the spoon and simply push the egg to the side of the bowl where it will pick up the water and as long as your water is not freezing cold that egg will mix to a very nice and smooth consistency. Now pop that in to your dry mix and then add the warmed through malt extract, milk and gravy browning. Making sure you use it all up. give everything a really good mix. You may need just to add a little extra milk to get it to a soft consistency. Look at that lovely colour. That looks a superb colour for a fruit cake. Then I'm going to pop this into a well greased six to six and a half inch cake tin. And I'm going to pop that into a fairly hot oven for about 50 minutes. Put in. Make a little dent in the top and then it's straight in the oven.
Now let's come back and see that later. That should be done, it smells delicious. Oh dear, oh it's risen so beautifully. It's just not the top a little. There ladies, oh a delicious malt cake for the children but nice for us to have a slice too. Pop off and get your babies weighed and measured and I've brought along a couple with me today and come back and we'll have a nice cup of tea and a piece of cake.